Well, Christmas decorations are on display at Lowe's, which can only mean one thing. Halloween is a week away. <laughs> Halloween is one of my favorite holidays, uh, but like a lot of things this year, Halloween is going to be different. I mean, there won't be any big crowded parties or trick-or-treating has been canceled, and no one's going to be toilet papering your house because toilet paper is worth more than gold now. <laughs> it's the good news. A lot of uh, other Halloween traditions that will have to change. Definitely no more bobbing for apples. Bobbing for apples, like a bunch of drunk strangers sticking their mouths in a bucket of warm water with old fruit. <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, it's amazing we haven't had more pandemics, really. <laughs> there are haunted houses this year, but they are drive through haunted houses. They find ways to scare you in your car. There are, like, props and spooky sound effects and one of those scary flashing lights. What are they called? Uh, check engine light. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you decide to go out and dress up for Halloween, you have to wear a mask over your mask or a mask under your mask. Either way, you have to double bag your face. <laughs> and there are a lot of new costumes this year, sexy hand sanitizers. You know, that's a good one. One costume I think we should get rid of is the vampire, because here's the thing. Vampires drink people's blood, and then they turn into a bat. And they say that the pandemic may have started because someone ate a bat. So is it an act of revenge? Who can say? I don't know. But we need to call a truce between humans and bats. We really do.